I am going to make a presentation on safety system. This topic will be on redundancy. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. Basics of redundancy in safety instrumented system. What is redundancy in SIS? In safety instrumented system, redundancy refers to the duplication of protective systems. If the failure of any sensor is of concern, that is a nuisance strip or a fail to function failure, then redundant or multiple sensors may be used. Ideally, the possibility of two sensors failing at the same time should be very remote. The chances of two sensors used in the same applications may not fail at the same time. Redundancy is used primarily to improve reliability or availability. So either to improve the reliability or availability, the redundancy is being used. Again, this is being selected based on the cell calculations and all in the safety applications. The existence of one or more sensors means for performing a required function or for representing information. Representing information comes into picture in case of control loop. There may be multiple transmitters to do the measurement and provide information. Redundant sensor configurations. Redundant safety systems are commonly used in the process industry to respond to hazardous events. In redundant systems composed of identical units, common cause failures, CCF, also known as CCF, can significantly influence the system performance with regards to reliability and safety. However, their impact has been overlooked due to the inherent complexity of modeling common cause induced failures. So, this is the redundant configuration of three sensors used in application. All the three sensors are identical, measure the same process parameter and then the signal is being given to the logic solver. In the logic solver there is some voting function is there which is doing an averaging or it selects the maximum or it selects the minimum. Most probably it does the mid of three value, it does the required calculations and gives an output according to the process conditions. SIS sensors redundancy. This is a study by the Emerson systems who are the largest manufacturers of the different types of sensors used in the safety instrument system application as well as in the process measurements. So, Emerson system shows failure modes, effects and diagnostics analysis from Exida. Exida is an agency who are doing the certification for the transmitters and final elements. So, this is they are getting an Exida certification for 3051 S pressure transmitter. This is one series of transmitter being used in the safety instrument system application. Statistically, it has a dangerous undetected failure rate which is known as lambda du of approximately 0 0.01 per year. This means 1 in 100 devices in this application will experience a dangerous covert failure every year. 1 out of every 100 devices may have the possibility of going for a dangerous failure. Redundancy can reduce these risks if the failures are independent that is no common cause and if the two transmitters are set as one out of two which means that the process keeps operating only if both the transmitters say conditions are safe. In one out of two the risk goes from 0 0.01 per year to 0 0.01 to the power of 2 or 0 0.0001 which is 1 in 10,000 devices that statistically may failure dangerously every year because we have increased the number of sensors from 1 to 2 which is helping to 
increase the probability of failure. This increased risk reduction is by doubling of a spurious and or unnecessary trip risk. Since either transmitter can cause the spurious trip condition, therefore one out of two improves safety but reduces availability. Why we are telling reduces availability? In case of any one transmitter failure, the system cannot perform. So, it requires both the transmitters to be in healthy state. Sys sensor redundancy, we will discuss this with the 2 out of 2 or 2 out of 3 combinations. In a 2 out of 2 arrangement, keep operating if either transmitter says safe. 2 out of 2 means either one of this is in safe condition, system will continue to work. The risk of a dangerous failure doubles by adding the second transmitter, but availability improves. In this case, by adding the second transmitter, the risk of dangerous failure is getting doubled. Whereas availability is improving because any one transmitter can support for the functionality of the plant. In a 2 out of 3 arrangement, safety and availability both improve. Whereas three transmitters and the system is designed to operate in two out of three combination, both the safety and availability reliability is improving. Common contributors to risk may include for pressure transmitters, the impulse line plugging. This is one of the common cause failure. Or in flow applications, orifice plate misalignment or damage. Whenever there is a damage in an orifice plate, it gives a wrong reading and wrong flow measurement. For temperature measurement, coating electrical noise. There could be some coating due to the process, due to the chemicals used in the process, which may impact the temperature measurement or electrical noise. Whenever the signal and temperature signal is being transmitted, because mostly they are coming as a very uh, low power signal and whenever there is an electrical noise due to an adjacent power cable or any other uh, interference, the temperature signals may affect. For level measurements, the process or fill fluid density changes. Uh, for the level measurement, the fill fluid whenever it is used as a, with a capillary type of arrangement, the fill fluid density is a very critical parameter due to ambient conditions, it may vary and it may give a wrong measurement. Material compatibility and environment condition. This is common for all the type of transmitters, type of measurements and extreme pressure and temperatures in the plant environment. This is also common. And insulation or maintenance errors. These are the common contributors to risk which may impact the measurement as well as the safety applications. So, how to improve SIS sensors redundancy? Analyze common cause effects before adding redundancy. So, as we discussed in the previous slide, uh, plugging of the impulse line, if it is going to be a common line, it may impact both the transmitters. So, in this case, they need to go in for two independent impulse lines. So, like that, the based on the applicability, based on the requirement and uh, process uh, conditions, design has to be improved and recommended to use shorter, wider impulse lines. The impulse lines has to be required size in diameter, otherwise there could be chances of plugging inside the impulse line and the process may not reach the sensor part to give you a proper indication, to give you a proper reading. Select stronger and reliable devices. The type of devices being used in the SIS applications has to be more rugged and reliable one to give you a proper measurement and apply the safety requirements. Use stronger materials. And materials used for the construction of the sensors, sensor body, everything has to be strong. Look for ways to inspect, test for common cause like a common line and common impulse line plugging and uh, the single orifice plate being used for uh, multiple sensors measurement. 
those common cause creating devices has to be inspected for it the healthiness apply diverse technologies for example using vortex or coriolis to backup a dp flow meter or radar to backup a dp level meter this is vortex or coriolis meters or the flow meters used as an inline instrument this is being commonly used in safety applications as well so instead of going for a dp type of measurement for flow you can go with the vortex or coriolis type of measurement one application in one process requirement measurement uh, we can go with one dp flow meter and second one as a coriolis coriolis flow meter or we can go with one dp flow meter and second one as a vortex flow meter so that it has two different diverse technologies so the failure of both cannot happen at the same time these are all the ways to improve the redundancy principle similarly in the level applications there are dp type of level measurement and another one is the radar type of measurement we can go in for two different technologies to improve the safety and reliability use associated diagnostics like heart diagnostics these diagnostics are automatic and put the transmitter in fail safe mode if and when a failure is detected this heart diagnostics can do the internal self diagnostics of the sensors ldns and they can put the transmitter in fail safe mode in case of any internal fault arising on the sensor body or impulse line choking or some other reasons so these are all the multiple ways to improve the healthiness of the safety instrument system and our the sensors used in the redundancy applications so the type of instrument type of measurement and the technology has to be used suitably to have the continuous availability of the safety instrument system sensors and have the high reliability thank you